What the fuck's up, y'all? PTB. Come back at you in that freaking dope ass video, and you already know what the fucking time it is. It's time to get at some more. A crowd of rebellion. Mania. Let's get it. Oh, got some bandmate vibes going here. I think someone's at the door. Give me a minute. All right, I'm back. Oh man, that bass tone. Yeah. We're going to pause it. Sing in the night of seaside, just like suicide. I was by your side. Give it back, I say you. Poisoned, even the genius loneliness. Orange dying, morning death phase image mine. She come to me like a bomb. Gradually, male eating long ghost body withdrawal mine. Drive someone nuts. I can't let go. Ah, it's like a floating goddess. I can't let go. Brainwashing, almighty battle, Maria, Maria. It's all my love, it's all my life. I thought so when I first saw your heart. She's a mania, like a fire. She's so fine, it makes me sad. Broken up, broken up, broken up, we got hurt. But it was fun. Former shrine maiden in the name of love, praying constantly. Former shrine maiden of evil fire, swore betrayal. Thinking about you, keep it inside. What did you say that? Now I'm an eraser. Taking back, it was a treasure though. It smelled moldy at this time. The ritual messiah to worship is dyed orange. It's all my love. It's all my life. I thought so when I first saw your heart. She's a mania, like a fire, broken up, broken up. And it repeats. We admitted that the destinations weren't the same. But I'm still afraid I escaped from tomorrow with a wrapped blanket. Your ghost now, I'm waving a dice far away. I don't need a goddess. I'm constantly building loneliness to breathe in and out. And then it just repeats. It's all my love. It's all my life. She's a mania like a fire. She's so fine. It makes me sad. So, what is this song about? Hmm. Let's get on the topic of the whore. The whore of Babylon. Rides on. Is it the. Yeah. The Whore of Babylon rides on the ten headed dragon, I think it is. Can't remember. Um, yes, ten heads, five crowns. I can't remember. I, it's been a while since I read that passage in Revelations. But, anyways, I think this resembles the Whore of Babylon. All of the sin that people love, money, greed, um, lust, sex, uh, envy, jealousy, all of the materialistic things in this world. Everyone believes that they are God. They, are, they love these things. They're dyed orange means that they're not pure. If something is dyed orange, it's not pure white. If you dye a white 
vehicle or a white object, a different color. It's no longer pure. It's tainted. It's tainted by another color. So I think this what this is getting at is, yeah, it's it's talking about the horror of Babylon. <laughs> Oh, yeah. All right, so yeah, going back on to what I said. We got hurt, but it was fun. Those things bring enjoyment in your life, but it's going to end up hurting you in the end. It's not there for your whole life. Once you die, you cannot take this stuff with you. You cannot take this mic with me. I cannot take this camera. I cannot take this laptop. I cannot take these Doritos. I cannot take this cell phone. When I die. It just goes to show you how materialistic this world really is. And all the stuff, keeping up with the Joneses and everything. Trying to get the newest things. Trying to keep up with your neighbor. Who gives a shit? Really? I mean, yeah, I need a good mic to make good videos on YouTube. But I need a good camera. But I'm not going to buy the best camera. I'm going to get something that's within my budget and I'm not going to spend all my money on something stupid like magic cards. What I was spending my money on all these game systems, all these cars, hell, even this bed behind me. It's not needed. It's not needed for a queen size, a king size for one person. I love having a king size and a queen size for one person, but at the same sense, you can't let envy take over your life. You can't let materials and jewelry and makeup and, and perfume, cologne, all that stuff take over the main reason you're here. And the main reason you're here is to live your life through God. Acor is pretty awake. I like it. I've, I have learned, I have learned to grow an appreciation and even more appreciation for this band after listening to this album. They're gonna rap now. All right, so dope. Waiting on my food to get here, sorry. Alright, 
We're gonna go into what mania means. We're gonna actually go into the meaning of what mania is. So, we currently have three more tracks left on this album. And I'm really, really, I, I am so glad that you had requested for me to do this, Willie, to be honest. Thank you very much. Mania. Meaning. Mania. A mental illness marked by periods of great excitement or euphoria, delusions, and overactivity. Let's go into it. Can you have delusions, euphoria, and overactivity with video games? And excitement. You can. Can you have euphoria, delusions, overactivity, and great excitement with making videos? You can. Anything in life that you'd like to do, you can develop a mania for it. It can become an everyday thing. Look at cigarettes. They're a mania. Alcohol. It's a mania. Video games. It's a mania. It's wild. It's very wild, man. Very wild album. I really love this album. Oh, man, this is just... Honestly, honestly, just by looking at these lyrics, it has really made me appreciate this band a lot more. I'm telling you, if I did not come up with this idea to translate Japanese lyrics into English, I probably would have never had this appreciation for this band. Ever. So, and this is really, I mean, I, of course I like these songs and the way they sound, but getting into the lyrics of it, actually understand where the band is coming from. That to me is important. Very important. I will see you guys at the next one. It's called Stick vs. Mad Dog. Peace.